Captain A here. I am going to show you how I personally rig a fly. I've got a combination here that I've picked that I like. Um, and we're going to rig it up and see what happens. I've never used this combination of fly and paddle, but it just looks good to me. And I want to try it this year, and I think it's going to work good. So right here, <clears throat> I have a fly from Rapture. This fly is called a Brutus. I'm pretty sure it's Brutus. Mm -hmm. Some glow in there, some black, some good green tinsel. It's gonna go really good. Well, I'm gonna team it up with this Dreamweaver uh, 11 inch paddle. I believe this is a Hulk. It's got some you know, good flashy tape on the back of it, some UV on it. I believe that's a glow paddle, it is. So we're gonna rig this up. So, it, they do work just fine out of the package. Um, nothing against that at all. But I like to do something a little different. There's a trick I learned that has served me well and I wanna show everybody. So what I do is I start by putting on a snap swivel. Use whatever snap swivel you like. Here, I have 50 pound test fluorocarbon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie on my swivel first. And I do, I like a Palomar knot personally. So I double it through, make a granny, put the swivel through the loop, kind of start to pull it tight, slobber on it a little bit, pull them suckers really tight. And on both ends, I kind of use my finger, I make sure that sucker's tight. Now here on the big leg, we don't have to worry too much about the tag ends. Um, being really short or anything, so I, I clip it, you know, it's got a little, I don't know, quarter inch tag in it. The general rule of thumb for rigging a fly on a flasher for most of us big lake guys is three times the length of the flasher. Now I will tell you that some of my like coho rigs, I got them really short. Those cohos really like when that fly has got a lot of action and spinning fast. But the Kings, I'm gonna go three times. So we're looking at, you know, I'll just take it and kind of, you know, rough line it up. Okay, there's one. There's two. There's three. You know, so right there, we're looking at about three times the length of the flasher. Now you're gonna tie a knot, right? So I'm gonna take it out another, I don't know, six inches or so. Cut that off. And pretty basic. I'm gonna thread my fly out. You know, and I like to tie the swivel on first because then it all just dangles there and it doesn't get in the way. Now, if you buy a Rapture fly out of the package, they'll come with beads. Um, that's the way this one was. It wasn't a package, but uh, again, I like the 50 pound test floor carbon myself. A little stiffer line. Um, it gives that fly more of a kick when that flasher spins. But Jeff at Rapture has figured out, you know, you got five beads here. One of them is bigger than the rest. The point to this bead, I actually haven't even asked Jeff, so Jeff, if you see this, you can comment and tell me if I'm right or wrong, but it works in my mind. I put the big bead on first. And what, the reason I do that is when it sits up here, you know, and it's pulled tight on the fly, that bead, it's kind of hard because my fingers are there, will push that fly out a little bit and give it a little bit more flare. Kind of gives it a little bit bigger presentation pushes all those tinsels and hairs out a little bit and causes more undulation underneath the water. Now I will say he is right with the amount of beads. It seems like it sits just right. You can change the beads. I've put glow beads in. I've mixed colors up. I seem to just kind of happen to like these green beads with this green rig, so I'm gonna just stick with it. Now, we can talk hooks all day. And I know a lot of places come with these, these hooks. I think it's an eagle claw hook, but I'm not positive. It's kind of a cheap, chintzy hook. But I'm gonna be honest, I really like this hook, the way those points kind of come in. I don't lose a lot of fish with them, and they are plenty sharp. I mean, don't be careful with that sucker. So a lot of people go to an owner hook, a Gamagatsu, a VMCs. You know, there's a million hooks out there. 
this hook just treats me really good. So again, now I'm gonna pull that tag end down, you know, so I got about five, six inches of line left. And I'm gonna do the same exact knot, because I am a fan of this knot. It does not come undone, it treats me good. Everybody's got their own fisherman's knots. Use what you're like, this is just for me. And I'm gonna start sliding that up. Just little by little, I want to make sure it rolls on there just right. A little bit of a booger with that heavy line but it works good I get that sucker good and tight and I trim it off I see my little assistant has showed up <laughs> so the point to me putting the snap swivel on here is one it's really easy to clip it on you know, and they all got the big swivel on the back. It clips right on there. And now, you know, that is roughly, you know, three times the length of that paddle, give or take a few inches. I don't get exact. There's guys that will measure this down to the quarter of an inch. Not saying that's wrong, but I think that works good. I think that's a good looking fly flasher combination. I think this will work early in the morning, late in the evenings dark and gloomy days but the other positive is, is so i can clip this on i can clip it off and say oh, that fly's working oh you know what i want to run it behind this 10 inch spin doctor easy quick honestly <laughs> might have to rig up another one like this because that looks pretty good in my book but that's my point to this is it's easy to move this fly around you get in the heat of catching fish, and let's say, you know, I'm catching them on this, and I've got another one rigged on here. Instead of going down, taking the five minutes or whatever it is to retie it, I can rob one from something else real quick, clip it back on there, and send it down and get it back to fishing efficiently. You can get it back to fishing efficiently quickly because the fish are biting. You want to get it back down there as quick as you can. I can then I can now say okay this one got all frayed up from a fish you know twisted up in it or whatever happened then I can take my moment while I'm on my boat and retie it while I am now back to fishing efficiently so good tip for you works for us keep liking us follow us hit the little bell we're gonna have a lot of these tips coming thank you